Hi there everybody, good morning. Uh, wherever you are uh, around the world, I just wanted to take this opportunity um, to share with you all a few thoughts I had about the last few days. Um, pretty crazy and intense few days. Uh, and sort of let you know what lies ahead. Uh, what we're gonna be doing from the depths, what I'm doing right now, uh, and, and what's planned for the future. The last few days have been absolutely horrendous. Uh, they've been horrendous from so many different perspectives. From a perspective of, of Polish-Jewish relations, we first saw, you know, this, this disgraceful newspaper being sold uh, in the Polish Parliament. This isn't a new problem. This is a problem that that you know Polish Jewry and and people of good faith and understanding in Poland have been facing for a while. Um, Poland since the fall of communism and during communism as well was a country that really um, took great interest in, in press and free media and so on and so forth and so you see in Poland even today such a high amount of publications and press and media uh, from across the board and obviously included in that is some pure filth and trash as well and there's zero excuse that this kind of um, newspaper if you want to call it that could be sold in the Polish parliament you have other companies like Ruch and Care for a big French brand selling absolute trash and filth like Gazeta Polsk, uh, Gazeta Warszawa, um, a terrible, 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 terrible racist paper Gazeta Warszawa is. Um, and really, truly, all of us uh, should be fighting an argument against that. And clearly what we saw last night in New Zealand in Christchurch is something really horrendous, uh, an attack of people of faith and people praying um, against our, our Muslim cousins is something that, that really is painful for all of us and you know clearly this is the kind of activity that that comes out as a result of hateful magazines like these it comes out as a result of racist and homophobic actions and memes and so on and so forth like we saw this week in Poland against the LGBT community I know a lot of people are saying that this isn't them, this is them fighting for, for, for the rights of, of understanding and for their children and that this kind of stuff shouldn't be taught in schools. I get that. I understand that. I understand that perspective and that point of view. But the fact is, is that a full-out attack on the LGBTQ community is not okay. It's not okay for the thousands, tens of thousands of young gay children who are wondering whether how they come out in such a difficult Catholic country like Poland or, or an extremely religious country often like we see in Israel or whatever community it is. These people have a difficult time as it is. They have a hard enough time. We do not need to give them more of a difficult time um, by attacking their, who they are. You know, at the end of the day, I grew up and until the age of 14 or 15, I was also indoctrinated to think that homosexuality was a, a remarkable sin and a disgusting thing and all of this stuff and the more I got to know and, and through friends of mine who came out and and embraced that uh, who they are and, and embraced the LGBTQ community I started to understand that whilst I may not be uh, gay or, or anything of the sort or even associated to be honest too much to that there's no one in my close surroundings who is a part of that community I well, at least from what I know I still deeply understood the pain and the suffering that these people feel and as a minority living here and spending so much time here in Poland today I completely get the difficulty of that community and this is why I'm so against uh, any kind of attack on them if you have a problem take it up do not attack that community do not attack these people we as people of minorities need to stand together against this all of us are minorities in some way right we all should be careful, and a democracy really should and is judged on how they treat their minorities. For right now, I'm driving in Warsaw. I'm driving from Warsaw to Krakow. I'm in uh, the Silent Hero taxi. Um, you probably have a bit of a look in the back, and you know, right now we don't have anybody inside, but we're going to be driving this taxi now from Warsaw to Krakow. And really, with everything that we've seen over the last few days, the meaning of this taxi is even more important to me. You know, this is a taxi that really shows decency and tolerance and openness and, and respect. And I think that this is so much of what's missing from this debate. I'm driving to Krakow to spend the weekend uh, with Edward Mossberg, uh, who most of you who follow me on social media will know. Edward is a Holocaust survivor from the United States. 
90 odd years old, an incredible man, born in Krakow, Poland, is now coming back again for a very special march that will take place over the weekend, which I'll share with you all live, uh, as well as the screening of his movie, uh, the movie made about him by Leo Roberts, Destination Unknown and other Holocaust survivors on Sunday evening. And again, this taxi will be going to Krakow, will be taking righteous amongst the nations, those incredible non-Jews, Christians who risked their life to save Jews during the war and will be driving them on Sunday um, to see this movie uh, and giving them a little bit of extra assistance. And really one of the things that has come out more than anything as a result of these taxis, and believe me, it's not easy work. You know, at the end of the day, we're a small foundation and we're incredibly grateful to Farley Friedman and to other people, who, and Edward Mossberg and other Holocaust survivors and Chelsea Football Club who enabled us to have the minimal amount of money that we needed to bring these taxis here, to get them roadworthy for Poland and to get them in the process of moving and working. But still, this is a very difficult project that is takes up a huge amount of time every single day. If it's not, you know, our staff members, you know, be it Veronica or Lena or whoever it may be answering the silent hero taxis or Oliver, our incredible driver going and picking them up there's costs involved, there's difficulties involved, but we're still pushing this and pursuing this. Just last weekend, I myself drove another taxi, uh, kindly given to us by Farley, from London to England, from London to Warsaw, to, to push us and enable us to give more hope and more ease uh, to these righteous amongst the nations, um, to these incredible people who are in their 90s. And, you know, as a result of this very, very small and relatively simple action, these incredible people are able to have a little bit extra ease in their lives. They're able to go without taking buses and trams in this difficult weather, as you can probably see. You know, I'm stuck in a traffic jam in the rain in front of me here in Warsaw. And, you know, the righteous, these incredible people will not have to. And again, our partners, the people who helped us do this, all the way from Edward Mossberg to Chelsea Football Club to Lot Polish Airlines to the Jewish News in the United Kingdom, all of these incredible organizations and people who enabled us to do this project, we're thankful to you, and so are the righteous who take these journeys. So as I said, I'm gonna be driving from here all the way to Krakow today. It's about a four hour drive. It enables me to get there just before Shabbat and spend Shabbat with Edward. Um, but truly, the process and the understanding of and what we can learn from these people who every single day take rides in this car is what it takes to be a decent human being. And being a decent human being isn't just during a period of war saving your neighbor as if that's a small thing. It's every single day being decent. It's fighting against hatred, whether it's against the gay community, whether it's against the Jewish community, whether it's Islamophobia, whatever it is, all of these kinds of hatred kill. And we've seen it over and over again. And so really from inside this vehicle that gives so much hope, that gives so much decency, and, and that takes these remarkable people, all of us need to be doing a little bit more to make sure that this horrendous, horrible actions do not take place again. So from here in a horrible traffic jam, I wish you all the very, very best. As you can see, I'm on my journey stuck in this traffic jam. So from here, uh, in Warsaw, hopefully not too far away and not too soon, I'll be in Krakow. I wish all of you a very peaceful weekend. I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. I wish you all a nice, relaxing time. Goodbye. Do Shalom.